Our close friend B invited us to the secluded Seren Islands that are supposed to have some of the best snorkeling in Thailand. You guys remember B, don't you? An isolated thunderstorm rises high into the atmosphere. All you gotta do to get there is first fly to Bangkok. Heads up, the customs line can be penny dreadful. Then catch a plane to Phuket. Next, rent a car, maybe a scooter with a groovy sidecar, and drive up the coast four or five hours. Then hop on a speedboat for about an hour. Transfer to a smaller wooden boat, and then transfer to a smaller rubber boat that will drop you off at the Mokan Seren National Park. Once there, get some food, rent a tent, get some rest. You're gonna need it. Our first morning on the islands, we awoke to find that creatures had slithered through our camp while we slept. Was this island crawling with monster snakes? We'll worry about that later. Time to meet up with the gang and see what's swimming in that crystal clear water. This is Bee's beau, Ben. Ben has an eye for spotting things underwater. He spotted the moray eel, and the octopus, and the iPhone. The iPhone's waterproof case had algae growing on it, so it must have been down there a while. This is Cat. When Cat isn't breaking guy's wrists arm wrestling, she's solving tech issues. So she plugged in the phone at the island's only public outlet, and wouldn't you know it, it still worked. But it was locked. Cat was determined to figure out who the owner was and return it to them just to see the look on their face. <coughs> I've never seen so many different fish species, and the sheer numbers of them was astonishing. After an afternoon of coral reef paradise, we went searching for whatever animals were slithering in the sand. We searched through the grove of man, up the mountain and around the island. No sign of any man-eating snakes. This is Ali. Ali is Mokan. The Mokan are a tribe of semi-nomadic sea hunters and gatherers. Many Mokan are born, live, and die at sea, but this band has permanently settled here at the Seren Islands. Ali honored us by welcoming us to his village. Photos everywhere. <laughs> Photos everywhere. <laughs> this is Josh. When Josh saw the Mokan children selling souvenirs and trinkets, he saw an opportunity to make a few baht. <laughs> While the adults are out fishing and doing chores, the children rule the village. When I saw two of them carrying a human-sized spit, I wondered if they were planning on roasting us. We pretended like we were teachers, but really we just used that as an excuse to be kids ourselves. I showed them a video of a wild snake, and Josh taught them violence. After wearing us out, we said goodbye to our new friends and headed back to camp. It's plausible that goodbye might have gotten lost in translation among a few.
Hey guys, uh, we're in Surin Islands in Thailand. We're out with our good buddy Hank Shima, famous snake catcher and tornado chaser. And we're going out to look for some, uh, some of Thailand's beautiful snakes. So he's just told us that we should be watching where we step, first of all. B, do you want to pick him up? I do not want to pick him up. Ouch, boys. Oi, oi, oi. Ow, wow, that hurts. It's like something just flew into my nose. What in the hell is that? Oh, the, uh... Last I saw him, he was right here. But, oh, here he is. All right. Ooh! Yeah. Oh! Woo! Oh, sorry, ah! Is this? it like an eel? It's like a froggy eel. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> if he goes under something, he might chill. Ooh. We have Sicilians. It's an amphibian. It's hiding. Yeah? What a crazy animal. Slimy, snaky amphibian thing. And they're so Ooh. slimy. You can't hold them. <laughs> <laughs> but it apparently made you very happy. A spotting cat. Yeah, that was cool. Again, the next morning, our camp was slithered with tracks. This time, I was determined to follow them to the culprit. The Asian water monitor is the world's second heaviest lizard after its cousin, the Komodo dragon. These dinosaurs easily grow to two meters, sometimes larger. Serrated teeth, powerful jaws, sharp claws, and a snaky forked tongue. These magnificent creatures are just as at home in the trees and in the water as they are on the land. It was our last day on the Surin Islands. Not sure where the snakes were hiding, but after seeing so much other amazing wildlife, it was impossible to feel disappointed. Apparently I was just looking in all the wrong places. While out on our last high noon swim, Ben shouted, snake! This is the banded sea crate, a close relative to the cobra. It has one of the most potent neurotoxic venoms in the world and the cutest little paddle for a tail. This snake is extremely docile and human envenomations are extremely rare. Still, this little guy's curiosity can be a little unnerving. I was so excited I forgot to hit the record button. Luckily, B was shooting B-roll. Ah! Ah! Yeah, you're my hero! Secret! Ah, oh, thank you, Buddha God. <laughs> After another epic snorkel session, we thought we'd swing by the Mokin village and see if maybe a couple children were interested in joining us for one last swim. Our trip to the Surin Islands was beyond words. B and Ben and Ali from Suntan Tours showed us the time of our life. As we were leaving early the next day, Ali brought the Mokan children out to say goodbye. Bye bye! Bye bye!
So, uh, as you know, we thought that we found this um, sunk at the bottom of uh, somewhere near Surin Island uh, on our first day of snorkeling, and then we picked it up and then uh, found the phone number of the owner. I don't know how my my friend Kat found it, and then this is the owner. We got in touch with him. And Hi. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Okay. In one piece. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>